Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Hakan's DDT, aka 360 Kick, aka I have no idea what the real name of the move is. It works pretty similarly to Cammy's Hooligan. They both uh, only grab people who are standing or jumping. You can crouch right under them. Now, in Street Fighter 4 and, and now in Super, uh, the most useful way to use Cammy's Hooligan is as a media attack, and that's because whenever you wake up in this game, you stand for a couple of frames. You can't hold down on the stick to, to crouch. You're just automatically uh, standing. There are some ways around that, but in general, uh, if you just hold down on the stick, uh, it's not going to work. So Cammy has all these ways to land her, her hooligan, and so does Hakan. Hakan has some really nice DDT setups. Most of them build on Cammy's hooligan setups, but he has a couple of things that are all his own. So the first setup is going to be after uh, you land a fierce spinning pile driver, aka 360 punch, aka I have no idea what the real name of that move is either. So after you land a, a fierce SPD, what you can do is take a couple steps forward and then do roundhouse DDT. Here's what it looks like. So if you notice, I have the opponent set to crouch, meaning that it should be trying to crouch uh, as soon as possible. And yet it can't crouch under the roundhouse DDT, and that's because I'm taking advantage of the, uh, the dummy Cody's um, wake-up standing frames. Another setup is after you land his slide plus follow-up. After the follow-up, you wait just a split second, then do a whiffed crouching medium kick, and then medium kick DDT. Here's what it looks like. Again, I have the opponent set to crouching, uh, which I guess I'll show you, just uh, so you can see. Um, he's set to crouching, so he's trying to crouch under those DDTs, but again, because I'm doing them as media attacks, he can't. Something else that's nice about the DDT is that you can hold it. You can delay it for a little while. And that's nice because it makes it a little bit easier to time uh, some meaty DDTs. Because you can pretty much eyeball when the opponent is about to get up and then let go. Uh, unfortunately, it kind of makes it a little bit easier for your opponent to see what's going on, and you can respond accordingly. Uh, but, you know, still a nice little trick. So here's how it goes. So I pretty much just eyeballed that. There wasn't really any setup. Uh, I just swept him, and uh, that's nice because you sweep from, dis you know, from different distances. You're not always going to be at the same place like you are after slide follow-up or after uh, fierce SPD. So it it's good to know, to understand that timing of the opponent's getup, so that when you knock them down with something like sweep or uh, oiled toward roundhouse, something that knocks down where you're not always at the same location afterwards, uh, you can pretty much gauge uh, when to let go of the DDT and get the meaty DDT. But the DDT isn't just useful in meaty setups, it's also useful, uh, decently useful, in mix-up games. And that's because people often want to jump or backdash away from Hakan when he's close, you know, considering that he's a grappler. He has very dangerous command grab, not just for the damage, but because it also allows him to get a free oil or free hooligan setup, as you saw earlier. So people want to jump away or backdash. Uh, and hooligan is a response to that. Let's see how it works. Now, if you notice at the end there, let me pause it, um, if you were looking at the directional inputs, you could see that after I backdashed, I was trying to, to duck, but it just didn't work out. The hooligan grabbed me too early. And again. Now, that's actually got good enough hitbox on it to, to beat a lot of jump attacks. So let's see one of uh, Balrog's biggest jump attacks in air-to-air -air situations is Jump Fierce. Let's see how that works against Hooligan. So, that looks pretty nice, right? Right. But the DDT isn't just useful as a media attack or in mix-ups, it's actually also useful in footsies. The trick is that if your opponent is standing, and you do a standing attack and then cancel into the DDT, timed so that the DDT grabs just after the opponent gets out of hit stun, 
the opponent won't be able to, to uh, duck in time, at least not regularly. Uh, and I'm going to show that to you, and look at the top left, and you'll see that I'm trying to duck after he hits me, but I won't be able to. See, I'm trying to duck. Didn't work out. Alright, so the reason that this is useful in footsies is that you can just buffer it into that toward medium punch. So if I'm out of range, you're not going to risk anything. Oh well. Nothing bad happened. And why not use slide instead? Um, no reason really. <laughs> it was just a nice little trick. The DDT is also decently useful as a punisher. For the most part, it starts up too slowly to be a good punisher, but against some moves, it's pretty good. In general, it's nice because it puts the opponent near the corner and gives you a free leg kick oil or a free, you know, another hooligan setup if you want it. Now, an example of something that I can punish is uh, the spinning around move of this nerfed low tier character who I'm totally jumping ship from, you can see on the right. He's uh, spinning around there, and uh, on a reaction to that, you can just uh, start the DDT and hold it until he's done, and on reaction, let it go. Here you go. So just in case you needed something else to beat the Lariat now, it loses to everything anyway, but just in case you wanted something additional, there you go. And then the last use of the DDT I'm going to show is in focus combos. So against big characters like Zangief, you can just do a level 3 focus into DDT. It does nice damage, leaves the opponent uh, much closer towards the corner or in the corner, and gives you the choice of either light kick oil or uh, a hooligan setup or whatever pressure you want. So, that's it. Uh, his hooligan is okay. It's not the best move, but it, it, you know his meaty setups are pretty nice. Uh, in in mix-ups, it's okay. In general, I, I would stick to other things, but it's definitely a good little thing to throw out every once in a while. One last note for today. Uh, I keep talking about the slide, and I just want to end that. Um, this is the last time I'll talk about it, I guess, or about the input for it, at least. Um, last time I said that you can verify whether to do the, uh, the, the punch follow-up or the focus attack out of it. You can't really. I mean, unless you can see that it's going to hit in advance, then you can do it, but you can't verify it upon hit of the actual slide. You actually have to input the follow-up or the focus attack out before it hits. See? Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> so it's not working. You have to do it before. See? Um, you have to do it a little bit before, or a lot before. In any case, you just have to do it before. Um, note about uh, all the hooligan setups, and uh, or I should say the DDT setups. Uh, these are all possible, both oiled and unoiled. Uh, none of the setups change, regardless of oil.